Hello, guys. How are you doing today? Welcome to the show once again, Farmer Up TV, um, the show where we bring in um, wonderful guests um, to talk about um, everything and every aspect in the agricultural sector, both home and abroad. And uh, we've been able to have wonderful guests on the show. And we're, today, we also have um, someone who um, is is um the best in his field um he's been able to you know come up with some um, good ideas and technology in the area of um agricultural education um he's also a visioner um of the agri tech um, technology especially in nigeria uh, both um the way of um agri e training or e-learning as it may be and um he's also an, a wonderful author who has written a book um, um, in the sector of agriculture um, titled The Rise of um, Digital Agriculture. Um, talk to us um, about the importance and um, the need to be training, basically, in um, the agricultural um, sector. So um, thank you so much, um for joining us on the show remember if you do like what we're doing do um like share subscribe and give us a thumbs up you know and if you feel we're not doing something right uh, do leave a comment um on the comment section of the show and tell us what we need to do better or if you feel we need to talk about um, a certain sector or a certain part of um, the agricultural industry that we've not touched um, on, give us a comment and we'll be able to um, to see what we can do. So uh, we're going to move straight into the show. Like I said, um, our guest today is a um, um, an renowned author, a visioner, and um, he's also um, someone that has um, helped um, the agricultural technology um, sector in Nigeria and um, in the aspect of e-learning, agricultural technology and, and so on and so forth in the name of um, Mr. Akin Alabi. I'm going to bring him on the show now and he's going to do a little bit introduction about himself. You know what I say, it's always best to hear from the, um, I'm not going to say the horse's mouth, but it's best to hear from the person's mouth himself so that um, he can do justice to um to to it all right thank you so much um mr akin alabi for joining us thank you uh, can you please you. um give us a little bit of introduction about who you are what you do and um we'll start the show proper all right thank you very very much it's an honor to be here on this platform with you uh great job you're doing you know i keep saying that look we can't say enough we need to keep telling about the gospel of agriculture to keep ourselves informed, updated about the business and uh, agriculture as it is. So my name is Akin Alabi. Uh, I'm the billionaire and uh, co-founder at Corporate Farmers International. Uh, basically, I've been in the industry for, for the past 20 years. Uh, for the past 20 years, yes, I've been in the industry, uh, taking agriculture into another level. I'm thankful that here we are today. Uh, my journey in the agri space, like, um, like a movie, uh, you know, it was just like a movie, and it started like uh, something that uh, most people would not uh, expect it to turn out to be. Uh, basically, some people do ask me several things: like, Did I study agricultural university, or did I have any past knowledge about agriculture? Basically, the startup for me was began when I was very young uh, with my late grandfather. We used to go to his farm together somewhere in um, Ilishan. Ilishan is a very close to Shagamu, you know, yeah. states. I uh, was to go to his farm together. He has a very big um, cocoa farm in addition, and also he does um, he does uh, some arable crops like um, maize, cassava. So we go there together once a while. Once times on holidays, uh, we, my parents leave. You know, we leave we leave from Lagos, then we go visit him. So I take that project also visit his farm together. We talk. You know, he holds me in his hand. We go to his farm together. That's how it started for me. But the, the turnaround started um, about 20 years ago, basically when I was fully involved in the sector was when I began to write um, articles. I could call myself one of the few that started writing blogs on agriculture. That was, that was how I started, you know, I started writing, started writing blogs on agriculture. So the, the vision for us started, uh, when, started when, when I began to write a blog spot about 20 years ago called corporatefarmers.blogspot.com. 
uh, that was so, so the idea then was just to pick articles across um, several countries, you know, in the world, both Africa, both uh, anywhere in the world, you know, bring those articles together. So I published them on the, on the blog spots. You know, that's what I do. That's how I started with. And, um, you know, I, I did that over time. Every day, it was like you have Linda Ikeji. So I was more like the Agrikli Ikeji back then, Agri you know, <laughs> writing to put, you know, content okay. on the Agrik space with the blog. You can still check the blog spots. It's very functional. Just that it's not updated. So you see old articles there you know, that mm, I've, I've dropped okay. and all that. That, that. that was how I actually started practically. And after that, then um, we begin to grow. We begin to have several innovative ideas. Like, look, let's come up with innovation. So we started by um, uh, developing concepts around uh, creating the first uh, Arctic uh, reality TV. Then called Copper from uh, Reality TV. You know, we you know we 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 actually involved a couple of executives, some brands to do that. But you know, it couldn't fly eventually. But because of we couldn't get partners, but you know we're still very young industry, and the industry wasn't as big as it is now. You know, it was very very few people who would take you serious. If you're if you're in agriculture years ago, you know, very few people would take you very serious. <laughs> very very few people would take you serious. Very few, you know, and banks were not even supporting the sector. You know, like it is now. I like have mm. several banks supporting. Like there wasn't no no bank yeah. would pull money on you. You know, <laughs> then when we started, so. It was like, uh, you know, we sweated a lot, you know, it was destiny right from the grind, you know, to, to mm -hmm. where we are today. And uh, we, we've been able to build the brand corporate farmers, you know, with my partners, directors, you know, both local, international and global to where it is today. And uh, today, to God be glory, uh, we're now, we're now, we are, we're now known as, uh, at least I can say, if you Google, Top ten agri industries, agri business companies today in, in Nigeria. Nigeria. Our name will complete, yeah, will come, definitely come one of the top three agri business companies today in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And uh, over the years, we've been able to to stay glued to the game, and we've been cre we've, we've created several innovative ideas. Yeah, basically from youth oriented platforms to agri tech platforms to agri media, you know, platforms, you know, and also we 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 are also one of the best. Farm management company today in in our, in Nigeria basically I was saying in Africa though, because we also recently got an award uh, that said we have well, we did the best innovative agricultural farm management company in Africa so so it's been a long journey for us as a team and for me as an individual that I've remained glued to the sector for for more than twenty years and um, it's uh, it's not been all rosy you know we've burnt our hands several times you know we've you know, if you're in the industry, you have bunched your hands several times. You've gone to bed without eating anything sometimes. Sometimes if you've spent, yeah, you spent all, your, all you have in, in breeding ideas that just to add some level of innovation to the sector. You know, but that is what has kept us going. And um, today, we've, we've been able to push the entire corporate farmers to the global level that we have partners across the world. And um, we've been able to hold conferences, events, webinars, series, you know, and... And uh, we've been able to hold the sector critically tight, basically on our several innovative ideas and uh, our numerous platforms that we've created to, to add value to the sector. And that for us matters a lot because one of the things that, that, that we, were, we were working to, we have worked on for the past years is the ability to build the brand, corporate farmers, to be an household name. You know, and to be a brand that is in the lips of virtually everybody in the sector. So that is more like an introduction to it. And also, I'm an author. Um, I authored The Rise of Digital Agriculture. Uh, it's a project that uh, I've been working on for uh, the past five years. And uh, it was officially launched this year in January. It was launched this year in January uh, at, uh, at uh, sorry, a Sheraton Hotel in, in Lagos. Uh, the idea for, for that was because... Five years ago, I knew that definitely there will be a time that uh, digitalization technology will be the narrative, narrative. Uh, that will change the agri sector as a whole. And here we are today, everybody's talking about agri tech, agri tech, digitalization, and all that. So it was a good time for us to launch the book, and it was a good time to let the world begin to see agriculture beyond farming, and also to know that, look, um, the only way you could get the new generation of people I call, the new agricultural talent to see uh, the business 
by a culture from another perspective is by adding technology and digitalization into it. And that is that is just it. You know, you can't take it away from it. You can't shy away from it. That is the future, and that is where we are heading to. So that's a brief of Akelabi, you know, and um, that, that and uh, you know that that is just me in a nutshell. Wow, that that's um, a wonderful introduction. And um, it's really, it's brief, like you said, but it's not. We've been able to actually delve into your world. And um, we thank you so much for taking us there. And um, it shows that, um, you know, having you on the show is the right thing to do. And um, so um, I'm just going to um, delve straight into um, our subject today, which is um, beyond agriculture and, um, you know, so how in a country where I like I live in Canada, right? And I see so many, you know, amazing things being done in the aspect of agriculture, technology wise. Yeah. Um, you know, how um uh, now now I, I there was once I went to a farm where, you know, <laughs> a supposed farm where is a container and um Inside the container, they were able to, you know, dish out produce of about six acres that you'd have on a land of six acres from inside a container, right? And it was so amazing, right? Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God, how do we do this? How do we, you know, replicate things like this in Nigeria? And, you know, there are so many aspects of it, like how they use drones now to, you know, not just your normal video shots and everything, but to actually spread um, insecticides, do, you know, do stuff, manage things and all that. You know, how do you think we can achieve this? How, how do we, what's the way forward? Because there's no how, we, we just have to. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. So this is it, yeah? Uh, we must take it first of all from the roots, and um, the roots means that we must begin. To, we must first of all change the perception of what uh, agriculture is. That is the, that's the root. If we, if we don't change the perception, it's going to be difficult for people to understand what you're doing, even as a farmer. Uh, today in Nigeria, the age brackets of those who are actively involved in um, production farming, I meaning while you're in the field, are between the age of um, let's say 50 and above. Mm. 50 and above. Those are those who you work know, practically in the field. And today in Nigeria, the, the, the main geographical zone that I'm more involved in agriculture is more or less in the north. Okay? Uh, that's the northern part of the country. So mm. that is where you have practical aged farmers, you know, from yes. 50 above, 50, 60 and all that, you know. But again, we must begin to change the narrative of the new generation to begin to see agriculture from a new dimension. Now, because what the, the picture that we have in our mind, you know, uh, it was even terrible years back. It was terrible years back. It's getting yeah. better now. The picture we have in our mind years back about agriculture was um, is, um, is, is for poor people. Is um, It's uh, meant for those who do not have education. It's meant for those who are tattered. It's meant for villagers. It's meant for the for the for the less privileged. It's meant is it's more like um, a profession for punishment. Like if, you know, when, when we're in school then and they want to punish you. They can go to the, the farm and go and go and clear a portion of the land. That, that was more like a punishment. Land, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that, that that is the that is a mindset. You know, we grew up to understand what agriculture is. You know, and mm. so that that is why it's difficult to change that perception. But mm. we're getting there. You know, that, that first of all, that is a challenge that we need to change the perception of agriculture amongst the new generation, amongst the generation we are now. Even if you tell your father that, look. I'm going to study agriculture as a profession. He'll first look at you and ask you, are you okay? Are you sick? Are you all right? <laughs> agriculture amongst all courses, what is the big deal about it? Yes, because that is the perception he has about agric and the culture. But today, uh, what I could say is the, the game is changing. The narrative is changing. Uh, it's not going to be a papa, you know, quick thing, but uh, it's something that is changing gradually. Today, we have thousands of young agropreneurs that are excited about what they do in terms of the business of agriculture. Now, I'm going to give you an instance of what we have done, uh, basically, as Corporate Farmers International. Um, for the past six years, this is years yeah, for the past six years, we've been actively involved in what we call agri-campus tour. 
agri campus store. That, what is agri campus store? No, no, you know, when you have all these musical artists, when they when they launch or when they release a new album, they always go on tour. Yeah, on tour, on tour from, yeah. from, uh, from uh, yeah, exactly on tour from Canada to America to UK to yeah. talk about the music and all that. So what we did was to create a platform called Agri Campus Store. Agri Campus Store, the idea was to tour campus to campus and change the narrative of agri and the business of it about agriculture and the ecosystem to the young agropreneurs within the four walls of the school. So the idea was, look, let them begin to see agriculture beyond farming. It's not about just tilling the ground alone. You can begin to create innovative ways to change the narrative and see it change. beyond farmers across several pillars. You could have agri uh, finance, agri business, agri health, agri technology, uh, agri um, agri sciences food and nutrition, there's a Greek sport, there's an entertainment part of it, you know, a lot of things, the, the renewable energy, a lot, a lot. But the challenge is, in their mind, it's all about tilling the ground alone. Like what you're doing now, for example, this is the extension part of agriculture that talks about media, PR, yeah. and is a critical part of the business. If you don't talk about the success stories of farmers, how would the likes of those who have been successful hear about them? Yeah, yeah about it. You understand? Yeah. That, yes, that, that is a critical, you know, it's a critical role in communicating the functions, the work of a farmer to the public or anybody involved in the ecosystem. So we have to do that for about six years. You know, by our, we have to take that pain by ourselves in, in changing that narrative, go from campus to campus. And today we've been able to go to at least across 36 states in the country. We've been able to go to at least 30 states conveniently across the country and visited over 100 campuses today wow. in Nigeria. Yes, all about That's the gospel wonderful. of agriculture. So today we have a database of, of thousands of young agropreneurs. So now that we just go to talk about it. So we've been able to also create a mentorship program around it, whereby yeah. they start, then we, we look for how to finance what they've started. And from there, they begin to even employ their other customers or their other students and create jobs and begin to create wealth for themselves. So that is the ideology that we created in the ecosystem. But it took us six years to achieve that, which is, a, yeah, it took us six years to achieve that. And um, we, we, it was even during COVID, we had to slow down on one of our major projects that we commenced about 2020 or 2019, that's called Connect to Work. And Connect to Work is about connecting these young agropreneurs to work in agriculture. Yeah, agriculture. Connect them with several, yeah, connect them to several FMCGs, uh, the major stakeholders in the ecosystem, connect them from campuses into the workspace. That was what we did for, for that's what we've been doing for the past six years. And that was the first level we did, changing the narrative. Now, the second phase of what we did was about now involving practically in the business. Now, today, uh, we've been able to, we are currently, we are managing about six different farms across the country, from, <clears throat> from Lagos to Kebi State to Kwara, Kogi, uh, Kaduna, and uh, last state again, Ogun State. Six, yeah. Six different states in the country. So we've been able to have farms across the states. And the idea is to, is to see how we could create or provide more um, mechanized process of farming. Now, these farms that we actually have across the state is actually owned by several clients that we manage for them. You know, we manage for them. Then in the idea of managing the farms, we bring in new innovation into the entire farms. So it means that as corporate farmers, what we've done is once we're managing your farm, then we try to bring some innovation into the entire ecosystem. Meaning that, for example, if you have a farm that, um, uh, that is our largest farm that today is in, is in Kebby State, that's about 1,000, 1,000 hectares of rice farm mm. in Kebby State currently. Mm. Yeah, rice farm okay, with, in partnership with some youth in Kebby State, quite large. And what we've been able to do is to, is to provide mechanized farming and also ability to, to create jobs within the value chain for youth within the community. Uh, it wasn't an easy task for us because we had to get partners, you had to speak to people, you know, you had to write a lot of letters, proposals in getting these things on board, but we had to do it. Now, because if you want to attract younger generation to the business of agriculture, you must not do it the way your, our fathers have been doing it, by, you know, mm -hmm. tilling the ground, you know, things that will take you, things that will take your diary two days, or so, no, take you two hours to do, you do it for like two, three days. 
But today we have several tools. That's where you mentioned something about drones, technology, and all that. Yeah. We have several tools that have been able to use to properly uh, execute the operational process of farm management services. You know, for example, most of our, of our farms today, we have drone services uh, that we have a drone partner that we consult that help us to um, do survey, you know, we do farm survey, we do farm mapping, we do spraying of crops on our plants, you know, and also we, we ensure that we do a proper uh, monitoring, even if we're not there. Most of our farms today are CCTV, uh, which means that when I know we, we are not there physically, there's a camera that is watching on all the produce and even ensure that our staff on ground are working effectively. So those are the level of technology we've been able to put in place in terms of um, agriculture. And that has been quite helpful for us. And when the new generation now see, sees that, they get a little bit excited to go into the business of agriculture. I know that you're just going there. You believe that once you're there, it, um, it creates some level of wealth for you. And that has been very helpful for us. Uh, today, the major, the major critical roles of uh, likes of additional, you know, the, the presentation of the AFDB has been quite impactful, you know, in changing the narrative of agriculture with the way he dress, with the way he talks, and with the way he's been able to carry himself, you know, within that space. And right. those are the kind of people that we have looked up into for the past couple of years in changing their narrative of agriculture. Because, you see, the new generation that is coming, basically, I call them, um, I call them the new agricultural talent. You know, just like saying, um, when Don Jazzy wants to, Hello. wants to, we just uh, you know, lost your voice. Um, the, oh, your audio is. Um... Can you hear me now? Hello. Can I, you I hear can, me? I can. I can hear you clearly. I can, okay. I can hear you clearly. We, uh, we lost um, your audio. Okay, let me let me try. Uh, can you hear me now? Can you hear yeah, me now? It, okay, it's very faint uh, now. Wow. But can, oh, but now, can you hear me now? I can hear you, but it's very faint, yeah. Uh, okay, let me let me try again. Sorry, please. Um, uh, But I think... Uh, what about now? Because I can hear you very clearly. What about now? Is it clear now? No, I can't hear you anymore. Okay, hold on. Uh, what, what about now? I don't think it's the mic. My, my mic is... What about now? Can you hear me now? <laughs> no. It... Is it still faint? We... Can... Okay. So what, what about now? I think I think it should be cool now. Can you hear me now? Very, very faint. Very faint. I can hear you very it's it's um can maybe you should um go off and reconnect back again. It might reset okay. it. Is it okay now? I'm so sorry. Can you hear me now? No, I can't hear you at all. Uh, but I, I can hear you clearly. I can I can hear you clearly. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you sorry, so guys. Clear. Um, unfortunately, we we're trying to get um um Mr. Akin Alabi's audio back online. Um, it's sometimes um that's just the way it um, it happens sometimes. So what, what about, uh, just give um give us a minute and uh, we should be able to get back on track. Okay, so what about now? Can you hear me now? Yeah, but very faint. Ah, because I can I can really pick your voice clearly, and I think my internet is very full too. Okay, it's coming on. It must be that um cable you're using. Maybe it's there's something wrong with it. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Let me let ah oh my, my other piece is not here. Okay, let me let me disconnect the cable. Um okay. So what about now? What about now? Yeah, I think um, we're just gonna go ahead like that because um I it's very faint. You can hardly it's very faint. Maybe if you move if you move closer to the system or something. Okay. 
let me try and do this. What, what about now? Can you can you hear me now? Yes, but it's not, better now. Know, let's just let's just use it this way, or better okay. still, um, mm. make it, on the comment. There's a comment section on your side. Can you like type your number there? I can give you a call. Then you know you just do use the video and you use um your phone as uh, you know your audio while we're talking. Okay. Okay, just type my number. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're 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 used to things like this. It comes oh, up okay. off and on, right? <laughs> the, okay. Okay. Private chat. Yeah. Um. Yeah, my number. Is do that now. Okay. Yeah. So, guys, um, I know you always understand how this is. Sometimes it happens. Um, we are going to try and give uh, Mr. Aki Alabi a phone call, like we always do, uh, so that uh, we should be able to talk to his vo um, voice clearly this time around with, with the call. There he is. Uh, so. Two, six, one, two, two. You guys know how it is, right? So it happens every time. And we thank you so much for always still being part of the show and um, not giving up on us. You know, just going to quickly connect this and um, we should be good to go. Is this number connected um, to WhatsApp as well? Yes, please. Okay. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? 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 I can hear you. Oh, you've caught it. Oh, the, it's better now. I, I, I heard that quite good. This is good. Oh, okay. It's yeah, good now. I, yeah, it's better now. Oh, great. So I can, I can continue my conversation. Yeah, you can continue this way. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. So, so as I was saying, uh, you know, uh, what we have to do is to, is to use changing narrative of our agriculture by bringing technology, mechanization, into the sector so that uh, those I call the new agricultural talents can begin to see a Greek from a new perspective, perspective. and from a new dimension. You know, it's, it's more or less like when, an, uh, when a music producer, like Don Jazzy, for example, wants to sign up an artist, you know, he's always hunting for what are the new talents you know, that will change the music industry. So that is what we did to look for who are the new breeders that will change the narrative of the agri sector. Those guys that can create innovative solutions to help us change the narrative. So that was what we did, you know, but you must first of all lay that example. You must do something dynamic that will attract them into the industry. So that was what we did, you know, by bringing on board uh, fantastic new agricultural talents that are interested in improving the sector. And today we have younger folks across several campuses in Nigeria today, from Batmaola University, or um, Olapis uh, Olabanjo University, Ogun State, uh, guys from Kaduna State University, uh, University of Lagos, um, also some some schools in the in the north, like in Jigawa. Today they are master players in the agri sector, 
And there are guys that we've mentored, okay, to change the narrative by bringing in new ideas into the entire ecosystem. And today, we have folks like Samson Ogbole that have introduced soilless farming into the sector by bringing in, you know, uh, uh, innovative ideas that you don't need to plant using the soil. You can also plant basically by using uh, soilless farming, okay? And these have been quite impactful. Impactful in breeding the new agricultural talents. We have Femi Adekoya, who today is, um, is a drone pilot. We call him the flying farmer anyway, because he, yeah. he, 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 he operates uh, the drone technology. I've interviewed, interviewed him before, yeah. Great, you know, he's a, he's a, he's a fantastic dude in the industry, but he has, a, he has his own niche. His own is about technology part technology. of the business. Yeah. And that, that is the level that it is. For example, we have those who are also experts in terms of determining the financial parts of the ecosystem. You know, for example, you studied agri economics. The question is, as an, as an agri economics, you must be able to give a farmer an, a clear view to say, okay, well, if you are investing one naira, you know, for cultivation, you should be able to get five naira by the time you go to market. Yeah. Those are simple things, you know, that you begin to put into the business. Market. Because one of the gaps that we have today in the sector is that most of our farmers do not take proper accountability or accounting system of the occupation of, of the business. So, but today with the new ideas that we have and the young entrepreneurs, they've been able to bring in new innovative solutions, creating ideas that will make every farmer accountable for each of its farm produce. And I can tell you categorically clear that the narrative has changed and we have more new and interested folks or younger, younger entrepreneurs that have taken the business of agriculture to super, super great eye. And we believe that the future is bright, but definitely people like us needed to take that pain you know, upon ourselves for six years or more, changing the narrative, turning the game around and building an ecosystem that will grow Nigeria GDP as it is. If you look at basically every, every statistics, every uh, GDP report uh, from, from Nigeria, uh, from Q1 to Q2, agriculture has also remained uh, a, a growth process, you know, with with um, the the, rec the recent one, we had we had some level of growth, you know, in the sector, and compared to what was what it was before, despite the fact that currently we are faced with some level of insecurity in the country, banditry and all that. But that means that we are beginning to have new players that are coming into the sector, and these are the younger entrepreneurs that are doing dynamic things across the entire ecosystem. And that, that definitely is a great one. For example, what have we done again at Corporate Farmers? Today, we have, uh, I could say, one of the biggest agri media platforms called uh, Agri Weekend, T agri -weekend uh, Media. So what it does is to bring stakeholders live at our studio in Lagos, you know, to talk about what they do. And the idea is to encourage and also bring some level of hope to young entrepreneurs in Nigeria and in Africa. Because... If you don't tell the success stories of what these farmers are doing right from the farm, it's difficult to encourage or change the mindset mm -hmm. of people who want to get into that sector mm -hmm. yeah. to understand what they are doing. For example, what you're doing now is a fantastic thing. No, you know, well, people must the, understand. One of the reasons for the show is that uh, and because uh, the process. if we don't celebrate our own, nobody's going to celebrate us. So my whole reason for bringing up those They are very correct. Like, you know, if we don't yeah, celebrate our own, it. nobody's yeah. going to celebrate us. And those are critical Those are critical things that we must begin to look at now. And Africa is very large. Africa is very, very, very large. You know, and, and from what an additional used to say, he said, look, it must get to a level whereby Africa needs to feed itself. And in 30 years' time, Definitely, that story will change. All right, guys. Um, yeah, it's back on. Sorry about um the connectivity, but um, you know, yeah, this. yeah. So yeah, go on. You can go on, Akin. Okay. So as I was saying, you know, the narrative must start somewhere. In the next thirty years, you know, Africa is going to go into a multi-billion-dollar business venture and the question is where which value chain are you going to play effectively which value chain are you going to hold firm i said look 
it's not everybody that will till the ground. <laughs> it's not everybody that will go to the farm physically to farm. Let the farmers farm. Find a value chain that you love. Play in that value chain and become successful in that value chain. Right. Over time, yeah. over time, that value chain will transform into a world creation value or world creation system for you. It's all about persistence and it's all about it's all about uh, continuity. You know, for someone like us that's been in the industry for the past 20 years, we could have retained it, we could have you know retired or said, look, it's not worth it. Let's find another thing. But we remain persistent, the persistence was there. So you know, I would believe that look, it will pay off eventually. It's all about timing, persistent, dedication, and focus. We are focused on what we are doing, and over the time, this has definitely paid off. Yeah. And today, we have been celebrated across the country and across Africa as one of the best, you know, agri uh, agri business company today in Nigeria. So, 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 what I would say is, though we need more players, we need more people to get involved in the agri sector. But the question is, if you are getting involved in the value, in the, in the, in the value chain, find a sector that suits you. Find a sector you can play in effectively. Then from there, start looking for how you can create wealth across the value chain. For example, I'll give you an instance of um, younger folks that are doing so well in, in the agri-health sector. You know, and what is agri-health, basically? Agri-health is about using roots and herbs. You know, roots and herbs to cure uh, Ill, ailments, disease. All these organic, organic, organic you see around. They're all about agri-health. You know, you have organic toothpaste, organic creams, organic soaps, organic, all that. So this is the health sector part of agriculture. And the fact is that agriculture is large and it encompasses life itself. Everything we do definitely has some elements of agriculture in it. The food we eat, the, everything we drink, the, you know, everything has some level of agriculture in it. So therefore, it's a world special value system. It is a, it's, the ability is about you to be able to create wealth from the value chain you are holding your hands, and from that, convert that to create job, convert it to create wealth, and convert that to help improve the GDP of the country at large. And that's what we've been able to do over time with different innovations and uh, what, what we've done to, to improve the, 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 the agricultural sector in Nigeria today. Wow, it's it's so wonderful to talking to someone like you because, um, number one, you make my job a lot easier. I don't have to ask um, a series of questions. You know thank what you're you. talking about. So <laughs> thank you so much. And yeah. um, you're, you're one of those guests that, you know, I can just keep going on and on and on with. Yeah. But unfortunately, <laughs> we don't have the time to do that. So what I'm going to say right here is that um, you definitely have to come back again on the show. Because um, no problem. we haven't actually talked about anything yet. We still have a lot to talk about. Yeah. So before we... Um, I I try ending the show. I want you to you know talk about um, corporate farmers um, international itself. Um, you know, I know you've you've been able to touch on all the things you do, right? But um, I just want you to talk about that um, aspect of um, you, um, the business, you know, and you know how you can be reached. Um, you you said you're into consulting and all the yeah. stuff. I want I want to know it all as much as I okay. can about corporate farmers. All right, international. No problem. All right, thank you very much. So, um, what do we do at corporate farmers? Basically, our model is in four different categories. Number one, we are a farm management company and consultancy company, a consultancy firm. So, it means that we manage farms for clients and also we do consulting. As I said initially, today we have we have farms across several states in the country. Uh, from different uh, commodities, from maize to oil palm to rice uh, to cassava and also to birds. That is uh, poultry. Uh, that is our farm management angle and consultancy firm. That is one. Then two, we also have, as I said also, we have an agric media uh, platform. So if, if, you, if you can see the t-shirt I wore, you can see Agribusiness Weekend. Mm. So you can see Agribusiness Weekend Media. Okay. Yeah, that is that is yeah that is one of our that is one of our, our models. So we have a studio in Lagos, mm -hmm. uh, whereby we we have currently we have two programs. We have a program for youth called Hangouts with Youth in Agri, mm -hmm. and also we have Agri Business Weekend. The idea is just to uh, uh, talk about agriculture as a whole, from what the youths are doing and what the major stakeholders are doing. 
and uh, and uh, today we we have we have, we have um uh, we have our YouTube channel on that. We have we're live on all social media platforms on that, and it's it's growing. And uh, we've been able to do a couple of documentaries. We've covered several events, you know, for stakeholders like Sterling Bank, uh, Lagos Commodity and Future Exchange. Uh, we had a shop from uh, Lagos State Government, uh, State Government, uh, states. You know, we've been able to cover several events across the state using the media platform. So that's the second thing we do. So the third platform, which is our new baby, is uh, the, our is our technology platform. So it is the uh, e-learning platform. So what, what does that e-learning platform actually entail? So because of the fact that um, we needed to add some level of innovation into our business. So sometimes last year, after COVID, when schools were shut down for about nine or 10 months, we have to create a unique platform that can bring uh, stakeholders, students to learn uh, using the power of technology. So we created uh, the Corporate Farmers, the Corporate Farmers E-Learning Academy. Yeah. So it means that uh, currently right now, if you want to become a professional in agri business or any of its value chain, once you sign up on that particular portal, you go through the entire lecture, the entire uh, academic pro learning process, then we now, you know, after completing that, you now take one month internship. After one month internship, then we, with our bank partners, you have uh, uh, the opportunity of funding uh, from our bank partners once you're once you're done with the process. So all we've done is to bring agritech and edtech together on that one platform. So we now call it the e-learning academy. It's about learning, and after learning, you do internship. After internship, you now get access to fund. And uh, the the portal is a uh, learn corporate .tv. So anybody can visit that. If you want to learn, just sign up and begin to learn in the value chain. And uh, it's affordable. Um, you know, it's very affordable. So just and you can use it anywhere in the world. Anywhere you are in the world is accessible. Not that it's limited to anybody. It's accessible. And the cool thing about it is that you have tutors that are live that will take you both the practicals. You know, and uh, no, that will take you both the courses from point A to point Z. So yeah, so you can either read, you know, the, the materials or hear them, you know, watch them live. That's all we have done. Then our first business model is capacity building and training. So we've been able to, uh, today, we've been able to train over 50,000 youths, many uh, 50,000 youths across the country, from different countries, as uh, different states today in the country, uh, 50,000 youths is not a joke, you know, to train them, mentor them, and put them through the process. You know, so that that is what we've been able to do, and um, we thank God that yes, uh, it's growing, and we have partners from um, from state government to private sectors to to commercial banks to to international partners, and uh, you know, we're able to organize conferences for international partners across the world. That, that has been a remarkable experience for us as corporate farmers. So, if you like to, you can always chat me up or DM me via uh, my, my number or send us an email at info at corporatefarmers.tv uh, or go to any of our social media pages. We are there just searching corporate farmers, either on LinkedIn, YouTube, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We are there. You know, just send us a DM. We'll definitely pick it up and respond to you. Agriculture is a, it's, it's a critical part of the sector. We don't joke with it. I would believe that it is a sector that can actually take any country out of unemployment. But yep. we must get it right. We must be able to seek investment in the sector. And most importantly, we must be able to create wealth across the ecosystem and create some level of financing that will bring stakeholders together in the sector. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you so much. Um, as per the e-learning um, portal, I actually registered a few days ago. Immediately, I knew I was going to talk to you because normally okay. what I do is that I try to... Uh, gather as much information about who I'm who I'm going to talk to. So okay. it's actually a wonderful platform, and thank uh, you. I'm I myself I'm going to be going through some of the trainings there. And, oh, beautiful! Uh, you know, so if guys, um, you know, like I said, the whole idea of our show is um to bring knowledge and information the best way, and you know, to, uh, to you guys. So this is definitely um a good source of um. Um, knowledge for you guys 
um, I have the details scrolling at the bottom of the screen. Um, the e um, the email info at corporate farmers um, dot tv. Um, I have that. I have um, also um, what else do I have at the bottom? Uh, yeah, I have the website as well. So yeah, do go on there. You know, go check them out, and um, also you could um, get in touch with. Um, if I, it's so easy to find it because all I had to do was um, type in um, Akiyala B slash corporate farmer. Boom, yeah. everything came up, and um, you 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 wouldn't imagine how much information you can get about him. So this is not um, you know you not knowing who you're dealing with. He's right there yeah. on the internet. All, all well and good so i'm so grateful to talk to you once again thank you um guys if you like what we're doing do um, um like us share subscribe and um, also you know register on on the on the e-learning platform register someone else that you think is interested um in agriculture because i'm going to be doing the same i'm going to be registering my brother and my mom um hopefully my mom thank will you. be able to go through all the fun stuff there but i know you know these are people that are interested in agriculture so any knowledge would always help them and um, so go on there register your families and friends and um you know you would you'll be glad you did because the we if you want to get into agriculture and you don't know what you're doing it's very difficult difficult and you also lose money you can lose your entire savings and you know, I've gone through it. I've seen it happen. Um, yeah. You know, not getting the right kind information that you need. So, um, thank you so much, Mister Kinyaladi, for giving thank you. us um, those this wealth of information. I'm very grateful once again. And um, we also still have to have you back on the show because we haven't talked about anything yet. We still have a lot yeah. of stuff. Because I said, like I said, I researched about you. So there are all that things I want to talk about. That Definitely. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll like financing. Financing, exactly. But I'm, the only reason why I'm stopping right now is that I know you you have um, other engagements and you can't stay too yeah. long. Normally, our Thank shows you. are always like one hour, two hours. <laughs> we talk so much. Because <laughs> we, we have so much to talk about. And even with that time. Yeah, and, you're right. And, we're still on the surface. We're still scratching the surface, right? Definitely. Because agriculture is Definitely. so wide that um, yes. you, you just, yes. the more you, you know, it's like a layers and layers. The more you keep pinning up a layer, another one is there, you you know, that's agriculture yes. for you. And you know that. Yes. You, even you've said it over and over again. There's so many yes. things we need to talk about. So um, what I'm going to just do right now, I know you have a prior engagement to this. So um, give us your last word. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. So uh, first of all, I would say uh, you can call on me. I will definitely find time to come again. That is not a problem. Thank you so much. Uh, you're doing a fantastic job too. Uh, great. You no, know, we can't stop talking about it until those who are important need to hear about it. And that is critical. Uh, so that we can change the narrative more, we can get more players in the sector. And I don't tell those that um, still think that culture is meant for, for, for the poor. No, 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 definitely no. The narrative is changing. You need to take your time to study the sector very well and find a, a, a value chain you can actually impact. You know, not everybody will till the ground. Not everybody will till the ground. You can be an investor in the value chain. You could be a media person. You could be an extension service. You could be um, a digital person. You could know about how to code. You know, we need we need several innovative solutions to help solve challenging problems in the agri sector today. We need that. We need that. It is a gap that we need to start start filling in today. You know, several problems are still facing the climate change, soil test. You know, name it. But we must start somewhere. And it's only the new generation that can do that. So, so we need those new generation outside, new generation talents that would love to be in the sector and add value and change the narrative so that you can begin to create wealth and create jobs and reduce unemployment in Nigeria, in Africa today. And that is very, very critical and that is important. Nigeria has the potentials. We have the world without, we have what it takes. Mm -hmm. It's just about believing in ourselves and creating jobs around the agri ecosystem. So, these are my last few words. Wow, that, that's wonderful. Thank you so much once again. Um, you've heard it you, all sir. from Mr. Akin Alabi. 
um, the co-founder of um, Corporate um, Farmers International and um, a visioner uh, is an author as well. Go check out his yeah. book. Um, where can we get your, your book? Is it on? Uh, uh, the book, yeah, there is uh, seller.com. Uh, I, can, I, can, I don't have it offhand, but uh, I can share the link with you. It's, it's okay. on Seller. Seller is a platform where it is for you. Can just, you can, da can, can download it on Seller. Okay. And uh, the, the physical book can, is everywhere across the country. We can also send, at least we've sent the RDA to six different countries in the world today. We have RDA in France. We have RDA in UK. We have RDA in uh, Switzerland. We have RDA in, Ch in, in China. Okay. We, have, we have RDA in China. Uh, we have RDA in Rwanda. And we have RDA in Kenya. Uh, and South Africa. So we have it across, across the world. But we, we have it on Seller. So if you want to download it, it's on Seller. I just check Seller, Seller.com. Just look for RDA. you see it there. All right. There you go, guys. Um, also, if you want to get in touch with him, the email is scrolling at the bottom of um, the screen, info at um, corporatesfarmers.tv. Um, go check them out. Um, they... Uh, they are based around um, Omole Phase 1, I believe, yeah. from what I have um, on, on, on screen yes. right now. So yes. Mr. Aki Alabi is um, one of those guests that um, you know makes my job a lot easier. I just want to keep talk listening to you because I'm learning as well. Um, this um, show has given me that, um, you know, uh, um, that luck to always meet people that would teach me things I never knew was possible. Just like when I spoke yeah. to uh, Mr. Samson Ogbelu, I never knew Solace Farming was possible. In okay. I, I never knew it was being done until I spoke to him. Ah. Yeah, you understand? So oh, yeah. there's a, I'm always so <laughs> yeah. amazed when I talk to you guys. I'm like, what? Is that possible? <laughs> you understand? So it's it's everything is possible and we are nigerians we do things we might do it the hard way but we get it done yes that's that's one thing i know about us yes and um um uh, we are here to celebrate our own um i totally um, yes. um um you know i'm a fan of yours right now and um i thank you so thank much. you and um, I hope Thank you will be able to talk very soon again. And um, I hope when I come uh, um, to Nigeria, I hope on doing some chum, chum tours with um, some of my guests. Um, oh, definitely, okay. I would want to, you know, be part of, um, you know, your thing as well. Um, just come around, you know, show how things are being done, um, you know, at your at your um, your projects and everything. So and also no problem. If, if there's any way Farmer Hub TV2 can be part of um you know um a partner with you guys, uh, we're totally ready. Just um you know okay us and we would we would see what um whatever we can do together. You understand? So great. Thank you so much. Great. All right, guys. Thank um, you. thank you so much, guys, for joining us. Um, thank you um, to my great Ogunlikwe. That's actually my mom. That's my number one fan. Oh. She's always on the show. Okay, thank you, mom, for joining the show, and thank you, Mr. Adeo Jeringi. Remember, um, I spoke to Mr. J um, Ade about um, getting genuine lands and everything um, for agriculture, uh, which is very important as well with everything going on in Nigeria. So do contact yeah. him and um, he should be able to help you as well. So this is um, where I'm not going to keep uh, Mr. Akin any longer than necessary. Uh, I'm going to say thank you. Thank you for, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you. The show. And um, to hopefully we'll be able to talk very soon again. But I'm going to actually no problem. catch you up on WhatsApp. Now I've been able okay. to get your number. So I'll, I'll talk, I'll chat you up and see whatever okay. we can come up with. All so, right, sir. So thank you so All much, right. guys. Um, I'm going to say you right now. And I'm going to say thank you to everybody that joined us, that have watched us. And those that are going to watch us later, thank you so much for being part of the show, uh, for being part of this family. Uh, we are really growing, you know, every day. And um, we're grateful for it to every one of you guys for being part of the show. So if you do like what we're doing, do subscribe, share, and, um, you know, give us a thumbs up or comment on whatever we should, you know, talk about next and things like that. Remember what we say, no farmer, no food. Do try as much as possible to say thank you to a farmer if you see them. 
and uh, because they are the one feeding us. And um, thank you, and have a wonderful day. All right, thank you. Bye.